Hello everybody and welcome back to the Life's Good and a very happy new year to you all. It's the 4th of January 2021 and I'm out in the greenhouse. I came out here to check on a few things and I'm assessing the greenhouse for the coming growing season and working out what I should be sowing and growing in readiness for planting out on the plot later the year. Now, just before Christmas, I had a bit of an accident out here and I managed to knock my maximum minimum thermometer off the back of the greenhouse. It hit the floor, which is a stone floor, a slabbed floor, and smashed. And that was it, the end of its life. So I've had to purchase a new one. And I do find that the digital style maximum minimum thermometers are better. Uh, I've just received this and uh, I purchased it from um, Amazon. And if I can, I'll, I'll put a link for this in the description box below the video. Um, I am now an associate with Amazon. So if you use that link to purchase one of these for yourself, I should or will receive a small commission, so I have to point that out to you. However, I've purchased this from Amazon. I'm just going to unpackage it and get it set up, and I thought I'd show you what it's like, what its functions are, and uh, how I set it up ready for use in the greenhouse. So let's have a look at this then. It's uh, manufactured by ETI as I said, and uh, I like this particular one because it's a, a three function thermometer. It shows you the maximum temperature, the current temperature, and the minimum temperature. It's got a clear button for clearing the screen and a centigrade Fahrenheit selector, depending on what temperature style you want, either centigrade or Fahrenheit. So we'll just open this, see what we've got here. We remove the plastic cover and it's got a plastic film on it, as you can see, that's got some printed figures on that gives you an indication of the sort of thing it can do or what it shows you. And you need to remove that plastic film before, it, uh, before you operate it, otherwise you won't be able to read your display very well. It's a bit sticky. There we go. We'll get rid of that and sticking to my fingers. Right, so it's now a blank screen because we need to put the battery in. So the backing, you just put your fingers either side of there and you can pull that off. And a AAA battery just pops in the back. Make sure you get it the right way around. The flat end goes against the spring is the, the best way to remember these things. So the flat end of the battery goes against the spring. You pop it in there and you put your cover back on, click that in place and you turn it over and it's already started to record temperature. And uh, as you can see, it's about 11, 11 and a half degrees or so in the greenhouse at the moment. And what will happen over a period of time is this always remains the current temperature. So whatever the temperature is right now, that middle reading tells you exactly what the temperature is now. At the bottom here, this will record the coldest temperature that has been achieved since you last reset it. And above here is the maximum temperature that it has achieved since you last reset it. Now, down at the bottom here, there's two buttons, as I said, the white ones at the bottom here. On the left is a clear button. So if you press the clear button, you reset the maximum and minimum screens back to the current temperature, and they will slowly record any changes that occur over any period of time. On this side, this button here changes the display from centigrade to Fahrenheit. So you press and hold that one. There you go. So it's currently 53.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and that of course is showing us the maximum and the minimum at the same time because it hasn't had any time to adjust yet the temperature is as it is at the moment but if I come back and look at this tomorrow morning I would have I would expect to see that this figure at the bottom the minimum figure would record a much colder figure than the current and certainly colder than the max and the maximum is likely to be the temperature it is now because we're heading into the evening and it's getting cooler and the temperature is going to be falling so that should remain as the maximum reading until the greenhouse warms up again and if it exceeds that figure that will increase there. It's a very useful tool if you want to monitor the temperatures in your greenhouse whilst you are sowing and growing plants these are absolutely essential so that you know what's happened temperature wise in your greenhouse while you have been away. I absolutely love them they're absolutely brilliant they've been a godsend and unfortunately as I said I broke my last one and this one I hope will replace it and do just as good a job as my previous one. There are many types on the market as I said there's uh, different shapes, designs, manufacturers, they vary in prices. Some do a maximum and minimum without the current, some just set at Celsius, whatever. Have a look around, see what you prefer. If you want one of these, then I can thoroughly recommend them. This one seems to be a, a good little tool. And as I said before, at the beginning of the video, I'm going to put a description for this in the description box or a link for this I should say in the description box below the video so that you can have a look and uh, if you fancy one get one for yourself well it was just a quick one today just wanted to say hi welcome to the new year and wish you all the best and show you the new maximum minimum thermometer that I've purchased for my greenhouse. Well it's getting chilly and it's getting dark outside and I need to go in and get myself sorted for a bit of tea and uh, get a clean up and I will be back very soon with more videos from The Life's Good. So whatever you're doing you stay safe, you be happy, you look after each other and come back and see us soon. Oh and by the way don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be kept up to date with what's going on by seeing all my up and coming videos and hit the bell as well and give us a thumbs up. That would be terrific. And finally, before I go, a big thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old alike. I couldn't do this without you and I'm looking forward to gaining a few more in the coming year. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.